Welcome to Technically Speaking. I'm John Johnson, Punching Product Manager at Wilson Tool. The topic of the video today is the X-Sharp Tool Sharpening Grinder. We're going to cover the machine setup, first power up, and sharpening of your first part. So let's get started. What we're going to need today is an X-Sharp Grinder, an instruction manual, chuck with dressing stone installed, coolant, a chuck wrench, and a part to sharpen. The first thing you're going to want to do is read and review your X-Sharp manual and then follow it step by step to set up your machine. So now we have the X-Sharp grinder in, set in place and hooked up. We need to add some coolant. So to add the coolant, we need to open the door and locate at the bottom of the grinder, slide out the coolant tub. And for easy access, we can disconnect the pump hose, set that aside. And then we're going to want to remove the magnet filter so we can uh, easily pour the coolant in. Now this X-Sharp grinder does not use a paper filter system. It uses magnets to collect the grindings and swarf from grinding. So to service it, you simply wipe off the grindings off of the magnet and replace the magnet back into the tub. We're going to add the bottle of coolant and six and a half gallons of water. So once you've done that, you can reconnect the pump hose, slide the tub in, close the door, and now you're ready to go. So now we're ready for the first power up. And the first thing we need to do is turn the power on. So I'm going to turn on the power switch located in the back of the machine. Now the first thing you'll notice is the light's going to come on and the controls are going to begin its startup cycle. This will take a few moments. So now that we've powered up the X-Sharp grinder, the first thing that you're going to see is the instructions on the screen. And it's telling us to clamp the white dressing stone in the machine and press the green button. The stone should be approximately a half inch or 12 millimeters above the holder. When your X-Sharp grinder arrives, you, it will have the chuck and the dressing stone installed as you see. So let's push the green button. The safety shield comes down. And the first thing that's going to do is it's going to touch off and find the top of that stone. So it has found the top of the stone and now it wants us to double check and make sure that that is a dressing stone in there and is not a part. And we can see that it is. So we'll push the green button again. And it's now going to begin the dressing cycle. As it begins the dressing cycle, you want to watch the table rotation and make sure that it's in the same direction as the arrow on the table. If it's not, it could be wired incorrectly and you want to reference the manual. So it's dressed the stone and now it's touching off again on the top. And now it can recalibrate the wheel to the stone. And now the dressing cycle is complete. And now we're ready to grind our first part. So the first thing that we're going to do is remove the dressing stone from the chuck. So we'll loosen the chuck, remove the stone, set it aside. And now we're going to place the tool that we're going to sharpen in the chuck. And the first thing we want to do is make sure that it's sitting on the same step on the jaws so that it's flat. And then we can tighten the part. The last step before we sharpen is we want to make sure that the tool that we're going to sharpen is above the top jaw. We don't want to crash or grind the top jaw. So we can clearly see that the die is sticking above the top jaw. So now we've clamped the tool in the machine and we're ready to sharpen it. So let's set up the control. The first thing you can see in the control are three options. Thick turret, diameter, and trump. Now, if you didn't have a thick turret or a trump, you would select the diameter option. And then you would simply choose the diameter approximately that of the part you're going to sharpen. 
In this case, we're going to sharpen the two inch thick turret die. So we're going to select thick turret. So we'll select C station. And now we want to set it for the amount that we want to grind off the die. In this case, we will grind off five thousandths. And then we just simply hit the green button to start the sharpening cycle. So just like the dressing, the first thing it's going to do is touch off on the top of the part to locate it. And then gal it'll calibrate the top of the part to the wheel. Well, we set up the machine, we did our first power up, and we sharpened our first part. If you like the video, you can like us, or comment, or subscribe below. I'm John Johnson with Technically Speaking, and now you know.